Hello everybody. I am back to do a video. I wanted to do a, a tour of my updated craft room. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. I still have some things going on in my life that have kept me kind of preoccupied. But uh, so I got my craft room cleaned up so I just wanted to come on and kind of share it give an update so I'm in my hallway upstairs and I have this uh, bookcase here and it has a lot of my old books that I have picked up and I love it I love the way it looks and my craft room is that second door on the left and over here is another uh, piece of furniture that I picked up off of all of this is secondhand furniture either off of Facebook marketplace or just the thrift stores I love this piece uh, it's an old probably dining hutch it's very old uh, but I love it so I keep my Bibles in there. And just a lot of things that I picked up over the years from thrift sales and state sales. And then over here is another bookcase that I picked up that keep a lot of my other old books and stuff on. And this, these stack of boxes are just some more old books that I recently picked up that I need to put away. So I'm going to try and not let that door open. So, okay. So this is going into my craft room. And, uh, yeah. So I've changed it quite a bit since my last video. It's hard to kind of get it. Um. And it's kind of been like this for a while, but I just, I haven't done a video, so quite a few years, actually. Uh, most, uh, other than the Ikea furniture, it's all uh, secondhand. So, it's kind of hard <laughs> to show it, but... I'm not going to go into great detail of, you know, what's, what I have where, but because it's, it's always changing and I can't even say that I'm really happy with the way it is right now, but it is what it is and this is how it's going to stay for a little bit. So I call this my bright, cheerful corner. I have all my, oh, little figures that I love the minions. They're just happy and fun. Uh, that tall multicolored bear my son made me out of rainbow room bands and the pink thing right below it is a rose my daughter made me out of rainbow room bands and then I love the trolls and then just some figurines that belong to my daughter that she didn't want anymore and then Woody and and uh Jessica I think I forget now those toys I had bought for my kids with the Toy Story movie, so I just think they're neat. I didn't want to get rid of them. So I just have this hanging basket here with some stamps, some cards and stuff that I've made with some artwork. And then I have this metal barrel. Thing that I just keep uh, wrapping paper and stuff in. I had that for many, many years. This bookshelf here is uh, one I picked up from the uh, Ore Estate sale, the Silver Ore Estate, the big, huge estate sale that I've shared on my channel. So I have that there. And I'm kind of, okay, so I was going to go on this wall and just kind of go around. Um, so, yeah, so this is kind of like my happy corner. 
I have this shelf up there and I've got a lot of old books up there, storing them up there, some of my melt glass, the tray that I got from the ore estate sale, silver ore veneer. And then this is my, these are my, all my cards that I made in years past. Just kind of keep them up there. I'll come down and show you this. This is just those cubes. I think I got them at Target a while ago. They were for my kids and they didn't want them anymore. So just some junk journals on the top that I bought from other people, a card that I made, some things, boxes that I found. Uh, that mailbox thing I made and that other album I made a while ago. And then these are just found things that I've found estate selling. That brown box up top is from my dad's. This pink doll was my husband's mother's. She passed away several years ago and she used to collect dolls from countries that she's traveled to. And I believe that one's from Holland. Oh, I'm not sure. I can't remember, but. Um, just little things that I've gathered, some things I've made, and that other cigar kind of box, another journal I bought from somebody. That pink rock thing was mine when I was a kid. Okay, and then coming down, this is just, um, I keep some of my more used stamps there in that basket and some of this uh, wood mounted stamps that I like to have easy access to and just some dies that I keep up there. And then I'll show you this cabinet, which I, I've shared it in my other video, but that fabric I just have sitting there, that was from the Silver Ore Estate. It was a curtain and I brought it home because I love the fabric and I just kind of sat there to see if I like it kind of covering the cabinet and I've just kind of left it I haven't done anything more with it as you can see the stuff down below so this cart I leave my die cutting there and I leave some of my embossing folders and stuff and I can just pull it out of the way this card I did pick up at an estate sale and I did refurbish it but this is where I keep all my, let's see if I can kind of show you here, sorry. But this is where I keep all my stamps. Okay, I got cut off, I don't know what happened there, but um, this is where I keep my stamps and dies. My dies are up on the upper left over there. Yeah, and I just keep that fabric over there because it's, I don't know, it's kind of busy. I don't know, just so. Okay, so yeah, that's where I keep my stamps and I just like it and dies. I just like the fabric there, I think. I might make a curtain or something to just kind of hide that. Plus, I just love that fabric. So I'm going to try and hold this steady. I'm sorry. Okay, so just some more wallpaper and stuff there. Uh, these cabinets I keep uh, in the... Upper left there, I keep all my like printer paper, my uh, cardstock, uh, colored cardstock, the solid uh, stuff. In that little cubby there, I keep all my inks for my fountain pen. I don't have a lot of fountain pens, I have like three, but that is what I use to write in my journals and stuff. So that's where I keep my fountain ink. Uh, yeah, and just storage, I keep some. No, I mean, just it's nothing fancy, you know, like watercolor. And down there, I do keep my loose uh, scrapbook paper. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go around the room, and then I'll just kind of do the island. So this filing cabinet I had before, I just moved it over there. I have these slanted ceilings, which make things kind of difficult, but 
and the filing cabinet I keep oh like the we are memory keeper you know scoreboards envelope maker stuff like that I keep my photo paper in there I do keep my uh, large uh, a steel rule cut dies in the bottom and then I have a drawer with my digitals that I keep in there and then over here I have a printer and the middle shelf is empty I still have to figure out and then I'm still kind of working with that piece on top that wood piece on top I had other stuff in there and I've taken it out and so I'm still kind of working on that that stool I got from the um, estate sale, which I love. It's all painty and just, I love it. And then I just, I love birds. So I keep a lot of my bird stamps there and my inks right there. These are some inks that I found at the estate sale, that the ore estate sale. And there's inks in there that can be used still. It's pretty neat. Just some found things and mute stuff that I use. These are, this is a box of things that I have made already. My paintbrushes that I use. Okay. And these are some more, some shelves. The white ones were my kids. They didn't want them, so I put them in here. And this kind of houses quickly things that I like to grab quickly because I do craft at the island usually and so I've got paints down there and in that wood box at the bottom there's more paints and inks and stuff and binder clips my that tin with the girl on it I keep my stuff to bind my books that I make and buttons in there in the top metal stuff I keep rusted stuff in this this is a uh, it's a stamp holder this was actually my father's uh, so that was pretty neat to bring it here and then I just have an old CD thing and I keep some of my smaller steel rule dies in there in the chins down below let's see um, the bottom tin gray one, I keep like my Tim Holtz. That one, the pretty one with the scene on it, I keep kind of shaker. It's not sequins, it's the diamond paint uh, beads that I keep in there that I picked up on clearance that I like to put in or use on my projects. The wood box keeps some old, uh, that has old letters in it from the estate sale, the or estate sale. And these are just, you know, an old stapler and stuff that I use. Uh, uh, sorry about the glare. That dog artwork is from the Aura Estate that I love. And just books that I want to pull apart and use. The dog here is from the Aura, Aura Silver Estate Sale. And that is Maud. I just love Maud. She's so cute. And just some stuff. Um, this isn't, I'm sure it'll change again. Um, this, uh, this yellow round thing, I keep really the laces in that I got from that estate sale. I just love that. Uh, those are books that I use down below to tear pages out of. And those clear sleeves have digitals and just things in there okay and then this is over here this desk I got at the uh, thrift store I love it the thing underneath it I picked up at a thrift store and I do keep my fabrics in there just some of my fabrics it's obviously I don't have everything in this room because I have a lot of stuff, so I can't get it all in here, but, uh, so yeah, I keep my fabrics in there usually, and then I have some yarns kind of down under there too. This piece, oops, sorry, this piece, put that 
down over there, sorry. Uh, I picked up actually all three of these, this metal and then the other two pieces I picked up at the Silver Ore estate sale. I don't have anything in this one on the left yet. I haven't figured out what I want to put in there, but I love it. It's just old and rough looking and just it really neat. I love the stuff on the front. Uh, this one, I keep uh, my wax seals and stuff like that in there. These are old scissors that I picked up from the estate sale or estate sale and they work and they cut really nice so I just keep them there. An old magnifying glass that I need <laughs> uh, that I picked up at a different estate sale. These are uh, the beeswax that you can put on your projects. These are my nicer paint brushes that I use. I have a few things in this one but uh, I'm still figuring out what I want to put in there. The clear ones I keep uh, just, just uh, stickers and ephemera that I like to use in my journal or uh, my regular journal or in my uh, Bible journal. So just some vintage things that I like to keep out. Mm -hmm. And digitals and yeah. So there's my desk. This metal box right here I think is so cool. This I got the silver ore estate sale too. I mean this stuff was in the garage and I was when I saw it I was like this is exactly what I want it for. And it houses my personal journal in there and then uh, some color pencils because I do like to color too. So this is my Ikea desk, which is okay. I mean, it, it works, but. Uh, and then, yeah. And then this other wood table I picked up at the Silver Ore Estate Sale. I, so I brought it up here. And then that metal or that paper trimmer also is from the estate sale. And that piano bench down below underneath it. I picked that up at the thrift store, and I just love it. It has this embroidery on top. Oh, there might be dog hair on there. Sorry. Uh, but I love this. I just It's rough, and I love it. Uh, and this stuff over here. So, yeah, I love this metal tin thing over here and I keep like ink all my pens and markers and like my Tombow markers and some of my color pencils and because I as I said I like to color too so it's so my scanner on top uh, this piece of artwork right there is from my dad and uh, he's not sure but it's somebody from my family long ago. It wasn't my grandmother. It was probably my great-grandmother or my great-great-grandmother. I don't know. Did that artwork and I absolutely love it. Okay. And then I keep my sewing machine on this old school desk that I got from the Silver Ore Estate Sale. And those are just some journals that I bought. Those metal tin file, whatever they are. I keep uh, more of my, some more stamps in there. They're like my image stamps of people or girls, stuff like that. that I use for making cards. Another journal up top there and just some, oh, those are my uh, seals that, uh, you know, a manual seal for like notarizing, that kind of thing. A raised seal stamp that I add on top of those there. This stool was from my dad's that I brought back. I think I shared in my old craft room video. So this is a new piece. This I picked up at uh, off of Facebook Marketplace. 
and I absolutely love it. I used to have an Ikea uh, dresser drawer right there, a long one. Uh, my daughter wanted it, so I told her, I said, well, I'll keep an eye out for something that I could put there. And I found this piece, and I love it. It fit perfectly, because I already had that chalkboard up there. And I love it. There, it's missing a drawer where those books are. Uh, so, which is fine with me, because I just put some of my old books there. And, yeah, just some of my treasures journals that I've bought from other people. <laughs> this is kind of my uh, stack of journals. And buttons that I've gotten. Tins. So yeah. I've got another basket over here with wrapping paper and wallpaper. My other IKEA drawers. My old typewriter from my dad. Some more of those, which carry or hold. This side, I keep my vintage playing cards in there. I have vintage postcards in there. Uh, there are some stamps too, but I keep uh, buttons up there and. The stack of some journals I bought from other people. And then up top, I have my grandfather's typewriter and some milk glass that I've kept. I have a shelf here, the shelf on the wall my husband made when he was in high school. So, and there's another one on the other side. I have another one of those tool things and I keep all my, oh, like Tim Holtz and uh, Brad's and stuff like that on in this one. And that's just some artwork I got at a state sale. This is, I'm sorry, this is uh, another shelf that I got at the Silver Ore Estate Sale. And I keep, these are some projects that I've made. Keep those there. And then it comes back here. I have this chair in the way, but um, try and show you without shaking you too much, I'm sorry. I have just some washi down there. I have a basket with some stamps in there. Those are some more projects that I've made. This is an old lunch pail, the black one, that was belonged to my grandfather. And I keep just wood stamps in there. And then this wood box right here was my dad's uh, that I brought back. And I keep my embroidery floss in there. I don't get back here very often, so I do keep this chair <laughs> in front of there. There's one of my dogs. <laughs> They're all moving. They're like, Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> I can pull this out. Let's see if I can do that. Sorry, bear with me. So if I need to get back here, I can just slide that chair out. And then, but I love this metal box. That's my dad. <laughs> His name written on there. So, and just some, this other metal, this, um, the one on the right, the metal tin in the front there, I got an estate sale. But this other one on the bottom shelf, my dad, I got from my dad. And uh, I keep like overflow of paper clips and stuff like that in there. So, okay. And then come back over here, and I have this big shelf. Back it up. Sorry if it's wobbly. And I have this IKEA shelf, the big one. And yeah. I just keep uh, a lot of old books in there. 
old ledgers that I bought, old postcards in the baskets. I think one of them is a part of a wedding dress that I cut on. Some uh, like uh, yarn. Most of the stuff down below here are boxes from the Silver Ore Estate Sale that have stuff in it that I'm kind of going through still. Some books that I've pulled apart that I'm going to use, the old cabinet cards and piano rolls from the Silver Ore. And then there's one of my other dogs. <laughs> uh, yeah, so those DMC th things I found at the thrift store, those are pretty neat. Those black suit, uh, briefcases were my dad's, and I keep my Hobonichi uh, things in there for my personal journal. And just tins that have that. The teal one, I have uh, jewelry, charms and stuff in. The bottom enamel one has metal pieces in that blue suitcase to the right it was my mother's and I keep doilies and stuff in there and then this is another uh, thing that I got in an estate sale this oh I don't know what you would call it this thing right here that have I got a bunch of laces and stuff in it so yeah and then this chair I got at the thrift store most people probably won't like it, but I love it. I love this fabric. It's a time period, you know. I just, I like it. Uh, I just moved this shelf in here. It was in my daughter's room. She didn't want it anymore. So I was like, well, I'll put it in here. Uh, here's the other shelf my husband made. And this is just some buttons. The top shelf is all buttons that I have to kind of go through that I've gotten. Just a lot more old books and stuff that I've picked up that I have to kind of figure out. Buttons. I do have a button issue. And then those are my coloring books that I like to color in. Where I keep those. And then in on this shelf is I keep a lot of my Bibles and uh, uh, magazines that I like to thumb through. So now I'm going to come over here and I apologize for the shakiness. So then there's my island. It's an Ikea island. So yeah. So this piece on the left I picked up at an estate sale. I love it. And I have all my some of my old, really old magazines. The table on the right, the brown wood colored one, is from the Silver Ore Estate Sale. And I just have some IKEA Alex shelves under there with my printer on it and my paper that I use. And the Alex drawers, I keep like my watercolor and my colored pencils, some of my colored pencils and stuff. But uh, you know, just this metal piece to the left, I just picked out of the States, or actually that was at a thrift store. And I just have random things in there that I need to kind of organize more. And, yeah, and I'll show you here, like, in between, I keep, oh, like, uh, game cards and stuff in those wood boxes that I can put in journals and then those other boxes on the left I do keep like some dies because that's kind of like my die cutting area over here so I keep my die cutter and then tools for my dies and stuff and down here I do keep my laces and ribbon and trim and those four baskets so I've kind of found those baskets are kind of hard to figure out what to put in and when I bought them, I bought quite a few of them. So, um, and so this is where 
I film when I do make videos, which I don't really do anymore, but, uh, and then this piece I picked up at the thrift store, which I, I really, I know it's big and kind of in your face, but I love it because, uh, I just, I can keep my digitals and just stuff over here. And then I just have all these other shelves. I'm still working on organizing how I want to Put this stuff in there but i've kept some old boxes that i picked up over the years and i just kind of those fit nicely in there and i just keep things in them like this one i have brads and stuff and small paper clips and that kind of thing this one i have some frequently used stamps and stencils these are this is some of those old tins, uh, my inks there. Uh, so yeah, I'm still kind of figuring out what I like to use and put there. So I do have some old dishes to keep things in too. I'm still figuring that out, but I like it. I do like it there. All my glues. Uh, this is another piece from the silver ore and I keep my fussy cut like my labels in here and it's not full uh, those are butterflies I do have a little thing of buttons here that I can just reach for this is just some old boxes that I picked up and I I keep digitals kind of bigger digitals that I want to use like postcard type and then this is projects that I'm kind of working on that need to be finished. Small little things I've started. And then that thing. And this I keep uh, card stock. That is my just solid card stock that I can use. And then this is not garbage. This is paper that I'm going to use and make homemade paper at some point. And then this is just more cut up cardstock that I can use. So this is some of the stuff. I've been working on a few things. So I made a few things. And this is a journal I actually started last Christmas that I'm hoping to work and maybe finish. And I have dabbled in making digitals myself. So this is some, this is using graphics fairy images, and I think there might be a few of mine. This is some of graphics fairy, and then these are some of my things I've picked up, like this I scanned and picked up, this I scanned. Um, using some of my things that I have found. So yeah, I've, I've finally kind of taken the time to teach myself how to do it and it's fun I need to get back into it again I haven't done it for a while because of kind of what's going on in my life but uh, and then well and then I did do this I'm pretty excited about this I like to pick up old Bibles that are actually still the covers are kind of rough and like this one's really rough but the inside is actually in really good, you know, it can still be used and studied and I'll use it. So this one I want to recover with this fabric, but this one I did. I recovered this with some, I think these are ruby and pearl, but um, yeah, I just uh, basically collage the cover and then the inside and it's a perfectly good bible that i will use and i plan to use this and kind of use this more as my art kind of bible so anyway <laughs> over here i keep like my digitals and some music paper and i do have a dish down there with laces in kind of bringing that stuff out for christmas now I do keep in this thing, oh, my threads that I pull off of my sewing machine if I sew, and just small little pieces. So anyways, but I'm starting to pull out my Christmas stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
under here I keep these bins. These are projects, sorry, that I'm working on. There's a journal I've been working on for a while too. And then this is just stuff I want to use, but that's what I keep kind of under here. And then just, you know, another one of those things I picked up. It's a DMC, uh, DMC cabinet thing, a drawer unit, but I keep scissors in there. These I got at the thrift store, but they work perfectly for my smaller steel rule dies. So, I think, yeah, that pretty much covers it. Uh, it it's going to change here. Uh, probably. My son moved off to college, and the room next door over here is was his room, and so I think I'm going to, you know, keep that as a spare bedroom, but maybe move some of this stuff over there. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But. And my husband agreed to get me some skylights, so, so this is a slanted ceiling, and I do miss the natural light, so... Uh, yeah, I'm excited to get some skylights and get some natural light in here. So you can kind of see under here better. I So that's like a magazine rack over there on the right. And I just keep my 12 by, some of my 12 by 12 paper in there. I do have a, another printer's tray underneath. And I don't have anything in there. I have to can't decide what I want to put in there. I, I have seen people store beads in there, but you know, I have four dogs, so I don't know if, if I want to do that. So, and then I have baskets up there that have like fabric scraps and stuff like that, that I can just grab and use. So, so anyways, this is my new, well, it's not new. It's been like this for a while, but my new room tour, we'll just Put it that way so well i hope you enjoyed it leave me a comment if you like subscribe if you like uh i don't know what kind of videos i'm gonna have uh i'm not gonna do any haul videos but uh so i don't know i'll just come on and share what i feel like sharing i guess i do have to share this this is a leaf my daughter found for me it's huge so I thought that was sweet. And I did find these. I love these. These are old pin cushions. One I got at uh, a local uh, antique warehouse. Well, actually two of them. And then one I got on, online. But I love them. I think they're cool. Oh, and this thing uh, I keep embossing folders in. Like my most used ones. And it's probably some dies. Smaller dies that I'll keep up in there. I did pick that up at a thrift store that I shared in a video at some point. This I still don't know what I want to keep in there. So I like I said, I'm still kind of organizing and and kind of going. So all right. Well thank you for watching. Again, leave me a comment if you like and I hope you have a blessed day.